Hello, now we touch on the final subtopic in the menu, which is type of menu. So types of menu is determined by the types of uh, food service operation and the needs of the targeted consumer. So you have a few uh, types of menu, which is uh, the first is the selective menu, then the semi-selective menu, non-selective menu, single-use menu, cycle menu, table dot, and du jour menu. Okay, some uh, food service operations also use a combination of these menu types. So your menu styles, you have three, which is uh, commonly is the a la carte menu, then the semi a la carte menu, which is, uh, I put here in, for example, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, they have set menus, but also they have a la carte items. Uh, table dot, which is prefix menu, a complete menu in a uh, set price, commonly served at a fine dining restaurant, which is, consists from appetizer to desserts. Breakfast menu. So you, when you plan a breakfast menu, you must consider of the speed of your service, the variety and the value price of that specific menu. So we have three here, which is the American breakfast, the continental breakfast, and actually I add another one, which is oriental breakfast. Uh, which is commonly in Asia. Then we have the brunch menu, which includes the breakfast and the lunch menu served at the hotels or high-end restaurants. You ha then you have lunch menu, which is, includes appetizers, okay, salads, cold and hot sandwiches, entrees, desserts, and also beverages. For dinner menus, it's much more elaborate than the lunch menu. Okay, you have the American service. This is based on the service. The French service, which is much more elaborate and usually conducted in, a, uh, conducted in a fine dining restaurant. Russian service, okay, entree vegetables and starches, okay, they're prepared and placed on a tray, they're prepared in the kitchen, uh, carried uh, towards the, uh, to the table of the guests and the wait staff will actually serve uh, by plating the, all of the items onto the guest's plate. Okay, tasting menu is uh, actually several courses ranging to five until 10 courses in small portions, which is commonly uh, used to show that the chef is, uh, the invited chef is there in the kitchen or simply showing off the chef signatures, dish, signature dishes, which is um, they, they have, depending on the ingredients that they use, okay, Commonly, uh, this menu also use, uh, utilize seasonal ingredients. So it's very expensive and normally it is served in a fine dining restaurant. So patron also given the choice to select the, uh, their own wines to pair with the menu. Special occasion, occasion menu, which is created according to the theme, okay, the season uh, or festivals. Okay? And this is also complement with the garnish and the decor of the outlet. Ethnic menu. So ethnic menu is a representative cuisine from a particular region or a country. For example, Thai cuisine, uh, Sp Spanish cuisine, Italy, Italy cuisine. So items often written in the language of a particular country, but often uh, paired with a translation which uh, can the customer understand what exactly the menu item is all about. So consideration must be made for this type of menu where you get your ingredients, the time and the cost for the preparation and also how to serve it. Specialty menu, the, so the main item is cross-utilized in most of the outlet menus. Uh, sometimes this, this menu is also accommodate to people with special needs, for example, vegetarian or kosher uh, menu items. Catering menu, uh, served by restaurants, okay, hotels and quick service outlets because this is another way for, for them to get revenue from uh, slow or off-peak days. So allow patrons to sit back and enjoy the event as uh, the caterer will provide the food and beverage. Uh, it is prepared from in a central kitchen, okay, generally it's a set menu or the table dot and is usually is a single use menu. 
from elaborate buffet to a simple presentation table. So a room service menu is either a la carte okay, or table dot. So the guest uh, usually phones for ordering before the wait staff actually send the food uh, via service tray or service cart to the guest's room. So it's much more expensive than normally you dine at the uh, ro dining room. So it needs to consider a good handling quality, easy to be trans transported, and you have the equipment to control the temperature. Institutional menu. So institutional menu, most institutional menu are nutritionally balanced. So it must be in line with who to you, who do you serve? Is either in the hospitals, schools, university, correctional facilities, or military. And uh, institutional menus commonly use cycle menus. So it rotates between two weeks or five weeks. Wine, wine menus uh, may incorporate, okay, dinner menu or listed separately in a selection is very extensive. So it must include the name, country of origin, bin number, year, and the price. Because uh, some wines are very expensive because where they, they come from. Dessert menu. So dessert menu is what is available in your display case. Uh, and displaying uh, desserts in a display case is also an eff effective merchandising tool for any food service outlet. So it can be paired with special coffee or tea or after dinner drinks in your outlet promotion. Tea menus. Okay, tea menus is actually... Um, for tea time. So for tea menu is available late afternoon in a, as a light meal. So this includes a scone, crumpets, light pastries. But for Asian menu is include savory finger foods and also traditional sweets. Launch menu, usually uh, in hotels, inns and spas, the food is basically finger foods and less expensive to prepare, very easy. And it is allowing people to, you know, relax in the lounge room uh, while eating or drinking. So it allows establishment to market light foods and beverages during off-peak hours, which is late in the afternoon or late in the evening. So that's it for the topic of the menu. So I will see you in the next topic. Thank you.